Hello and uh, welcome to What the Ride. Hi guys, it's Halloween and uh, tonight, because as you can see, well, you actually can't see, but you have to trust me, it's night. And after I saw a um, thread on Reddit about um, the Segway Max G3 and how good uh, or how bad the headlight is at night, I uh, decided to test it out and show you exactly what um, and how the Segway Max G3 behaves at night. Um, I think this should be enough of the pitch black darkness. And um, here's how uh, it is when the headlight is on. We will actually do more tests than this one, because obviously if um, you decide to buy a Segway Max G3, this won't help you. But, let me turn off the light a little because I'm not sure how it's set up and I don't want to blind the driver. Before we go any further, I would um, kindly ask you to like the video, leave a comment and uh, please subscribe because uh, it obviously helps me a lot and uh, I would really appreciate it. So, tonight I want to test the Segway Max G3 in three different conditions a city lead boulevard, a kind of like this, which is, uh, I would call, pitch um, darkness, because for some reason the street lights are not working here, and uh, maybe some trail path in a park or something, which uh, will be around half lit, I would say. Well, they won't be pitch black, but they won't be a lit boulevard either. Let me turn on the light, sorry. So, uh, I think uh, we'll have to see how that goes, right? Also, I would like to tell you what I'm uh, thinking of testing when it comes to darkness and the Segway Max G3. I've actually researched this a bit, and um, when testing headlights, you are interested in throw, and that's how far will your uh, headlight actually illuminate spread, which obviously it's how wide, you know, the headlight is, uh, things you would probably be interested in when uh, you're riding at night. We'll also have a cutoff, which uh, apparently means uh, if the headlight, you see, if it will uh, blind other drivers, because we're also inter in we're, ah, sorry, because we're also interested in this, we don't want to blind others. And side visibility for, you know, potholes and uh, things that might be on this side here. Uh, there are probably other things, but uh, unfortunately I don't know how to test them. So uh, we'll have to test this and see how that goes. For reference, the Segway Max G3, let me turn off this light, has this DLR right, uh, which is always on. Well, you can actually turn it off in the app, but I never do. This is always on. I think it's 6 watts. Uh, it's 4 watts. So, um, this is 4 watts. We also have uh, auto headlight. We have headlight on. And if, you, if we press the... Would be nice if this was illuminated, but unfortunately it's not. If we, pr if we press the button again, we have uh, auto headlight on, and uh, we're now uh, using around 12 watts, so uh, I assume the headlight and the bottom lights are around uh, 8 watts. Maybe this is uh, 6, and uh, this, I assume, uh, it's around 2. Okay. This would be it from the side. I mean, this is uh, how others will see you. Let me... I think the camera will do a pretty good job. And won't be blinded by this, hopefully. I actually wish the, the underglow light would be a bit more brighter, but unfortunately they're not. This is the view from the back. And uh, honestly, now that I look at it, 
<laughs> it's actually a beautiful scooter, but I wish the tail light would be also a bit brighter. It actually, you can actually have two modes here. You can uh, have it a pulse, or uh, you can have it flash when you brake. I think I have it to flash. Yep. Honestly, I think flash is uh, a bit better for other drivers because you know it uh, flashes in your eyes and you know exactly uh, that the person in front of you is braking. Okay, so um, since I'm already here, we'll have to let's uh, do the cutoff like uh, we just learned. So I'll set this. Uh, I'll set this to the lowest because actually I don't know if many people know regarding the Segway Max G3 but you can actually adjust the headlight look you can it's manual but you know just the job done um, I'll leave it around half I think we won't blind others if it's around here good thing this car is in front of me okay so let's see now Keep in mind, this is uh, these are some streets where, uh, at the moment, we have no lights. We have no street lights. We have only the lights coming from, um, you know, the flats and the people living in them. So this is what you should expect. Unfortunately, corners, like I uh, see now, corners are not that good when you're cornering i think those were called the side lights i mean they're pretty good but uh, i wish they were better since this is uh, pitch black honestly i'm a bit afraid of um, doing sharp turns because actually you see I don't see much in my right area as I'm uh, turning. And the street lights are on, at least on this side. But look, as I'm turning right now, I don't see much here, which actually kind of sucks. I think the uh, street lights came back for some reason. I think they saw me riding and said, hey, how about we turn on the street lights? But look, no street lights here. Um, the visibility in front of me is great. But the side, I mean here on the right, uh, here on the right, it's not that good. Unfortunately. But look, there was a pothole around here somewhere. Where is it? Look. You can actually see this pretty well, this and this, so uh, there's that. Okay, and now let's do the, let's put the light uh, at uh, the highest level we can, which is this one. And things are looking way better right now, unfortunately. As far as I can tell, I'm losing the visibility in front of me. I mean, it's still uh, visible, but it's not uh, as visible as it was earlier. So um, I'm not sure I can see lights and I can see potholes anymore. I mean, I can see them, but uh, not uh, as good as I used to. But uh, look at how uh, bright it is. It's actually pretty great. I won't lie. I think I can see all the way back. I think this uh, is around 300 meters, maybe more. So, uh, I mean, that car in front of me, the one uh, there, it's around, it, I think, 200 meters, 200, 250. So that's that. Hmm. Okay, that's nice. Actually, I wouldn't use it like this because um, there are two problems. You will uh, obviously blind others. And uh, you will also lose this ability to 
see right in front of you and I will uh, and I would actually look I mean these potholes you'll see them but uh, it won't be that great so I will now stop and I will set this to around here I mean look at the difference look at how bright it is now okay that area for example look now uh, I would actually use it like this. I think, okay, this is the lowest setting. We should also test these lowest settings. It's great. I mean, I won't lie, it's great. But if you're uh, going fast, uh, I don't think you actually have time to break in case something pops right in front of you. So, uh, then again, this is pitch black. You will probably won't ride in uh, pitch black darkness. But let's, let's assume you are. I mean, look, if you're gonna speed and I see this, I don't have time to break. Okay, so we'll uh, leave it at around, this is the max, this is the lowest, and we'll put it at this, which I think is the safest, both for us and for other drivers. So, uh, look, I think it's pretty great, right? Keep in mind when you're accelerating, because of the torque, you're also gonna push back a little, so your headlight will also rise, look. Okay, I'm like this. Wait for the speed bump. I'm like this, and I accelerate. And look at how the headlight actually rises a little. So keep that in mind when uh, setting your light, because it's actually very important. And now let's go to a city lit boulevard and see how that goes. And we are back in civilization, where, not really, but, uh, you know what I'm saying. Okay, this is, uh, I think it's 10 uh, p.m. This is how the scooter looks on the city lead boulevard. I'll actually take a few steps back. You see, it's pretty bright. Um, we also have, I mean, if, you, if you're looking into buying the Segway Max G3 and you don't know uh, you, we also have um, uh, how do you call it one second uh, turn signals that's it turn signals and and both one second both uh, turn signals are actually linked to the undergo lights how cool is this and as you can see, it's uh, pretty visible. Even, uh, I mean, I love this feature a lot. The underglow lights with the turn signals are visible enough. Um, there are some moments, I mean, depending on what you're dressed up with and etc. etc. how big your hands are, like mine, um, you might actually cover this a bit, you see? You can cover this and if you turn left others won't see you so usually when i want to turn left and um, i press the button i uh, drag my hand a little to the right so i'm sure i'm not covering the turn signal that's during the day during the night even if you cover the turn signal you will also have the undergo lights so you know there's that um let's take a ride on this boulevard ah okay let's take a ride and see how it goes because honestly it's uh, going pretty well i also have the goggles on so i'm fortunate i mean this tints uh, my view a bit and uh, everything is dark but uh, i hope you guys can see i'll try not to colorize or post process this video as much as I can, so um, you'll know um, exactly how this looks. Okay. We'll also turn left. It's safe. I'm turning left. Okay. You see, it's pretty great. I mean, look at this guy. Yeah, man. Yeah. Don't mind me. 
I mean, why would you let an electric scooter pass by? He doesn't need that. Yeah, anyway, uh, this is the Boulevard test when uh, I think the Segway Max G3 passes it. Honestly, I don't feel the need for another light. I've seen some people uh, have bought um, other lights, but uh, not me. I don't see the need for it. Ah, okay, here we are now. Ah. Honestly, now that we have, uh, we have covered the pitch black street, which was actually quite dark, and the city lit boulevard, I assume some of you will actually ride on secondary streets and I think we should cover that instead of uh, park uh, trails because uh, you'll probably don't want to ride park trails at night and you will uh, most often ride, most often the park trails, you will ride side streets like this one. The difference between a side street and the boulevard is obviously this is a bit more patchy as you can see, um, it's also not that uh, lit and you will have to take a lot of side turns. So um, I think this is actually a better test. We'll take a left here, for example. And we're switching from uh, to this pitch black area. Okay. This is a bit more lit. We make a right. Honestly, I uh, I'm not sure if you already have a Segway Max G3 or you want to buy one. You should let me down in the comments if uh, you'll use this video to. I mean, if um, night rides are that important to you and you're using this video to actually. Um, decide if you want to buy the Segway Max if you or not but uh, if you do if you already have the Segway Max G3 I really wonder if uh, you find this enough if you find this uh, light enough because honestly for me this is pretty much the best uh, stock light I've seen on an electric scooter and uh, I see no reason in, you know, upgrading it or maybe the underglow lights, as said, I would actually get a bit more brighter light. But look, uh, the top view, I mean, it's pretty great, right? Ain't bad. Okay. I think we covered uh, all of the tests. I think we covered all of the tests for now. So, um, I would uh, like to kindly ask you again to like this video, leave a comment, and obviously subscribe if you want to see more tests that uh, I don't know, I don't think other YouTubers do because uh, if they do, I didn't see them. But uh, I wish others would uh, do more nonsense tests I don't think they're nonsense but uh, you know so please uh, leave a comment like subscribe and uh, stick around because we'll obviously make other videos that hopefully you enjoy so uh, good night now